Hey guys, Jared with Trident Fly Fishing, and today we're going to be tying Bob Popovic's Bulkhead Deceiver. It's very similar to the Bucktail Deceiver, except for we're going to add some bulk, and I'm going to do it in two ways. I'm going to use the butts of the Bucktail, and I'm going to use some fine flash. And we're going to get started right now. Okay, so in the vise, I have a Kona XSS in 2 aught, and I'm just going to use monofilament thread. So I'm just going to start this, create a little base, and then grab my bucktail. So when you grab the bucktail, for me, I'm going to grab the longest fibers I can out of this tail. And that's going to set the length and set the taper of my fly. So we're just going to grab some long fibers and strip out anything that's kind of short and not even. So keep this pretty sparse maybe 25 or 30 fibers and then I'm going to trim my butts even and tie them in right at the bend here so cover those up okay so one thing I'm going to do here too is add some hackle for the tail and this is just going to give me some contrast and some movement so again I'm going to select two fiber or two feathers that match so those are really big that's good and tie it in right on top of the butts here and make sure they're flat on either side and that looks good I'm gonna rotate this around and do the same thing on the other side Just make sure they're even Tie that in, check it again. And then tie it down real good. So come in here and just trim these butts out. Cover those up because we're going to tie it right on top of that. So for flash, I'm going to use some ice wing. I'm just going to, it's going to be messy. I'm just going to tie it right in on top. Just kind of loose gathering wrap and then pull this back and tie it down. Oop. So any of that, it's kind of errant, I'm just gonna cover up. Perfect. So my next tie-in point is gonna be here right in front of the hook point and I'm just gonna grab another chunk of bucktail. So I'm gonna take a measurement so that my fibers extend to almost the tips of the tail here, but not quite. We're just gonna create a profile by varying the length of the bucktail. Let's just create a little base and then I'm going to tie these butts down. And one thing I want to do is just get two or three loose wraps and then pull this 360 around the hook. And I'm going to do that with a combination of thread tension and my fingers. Sometimes you need to kind of help it around. Okay, check that, that looks good. Cover up the butts. And create a nice thread base because we're gonna tie right over this. So at this point, I'm gonna grab another little piece of flash and tie it in. And I'm gonna try and, I'm gonna break this up a little bit, shorten it and vary the length. I'm going to try and get this one 360 around the hook. And then I'm going to pull this back. And tie them down. One thing you guys can do if you want to create a really durable fly, and if you have time, is just with every tie end point, if you just cover your butts with super glue, it creates a really, really durable fly. So, again, the same thing. I'm going to grab some yellow bucktail and instead of trimming my butts here I'm going to take my measurement and I'm going to leave most of them in and this is what's going to create the bulk in this fly so I can adjust my flare too by how much tension I put on this which is going to adjust my profile and if I wrap back, it'll kind of, you'll see it'll reduce the angle. And if I keep it up here, I won't get a 
heavy angle. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to trim these out a little bit. And what that does, you can see, is I have short fibers in the middle and longer on the outside. It's going to create a cone rather than a cylinder shape when I push this back. So to push these fibers back, I just have a hollow pen tube. Um, this tools for this too. I just like to use a pen. I have a bunch of them on my desk and they're very convenient. You can use your fingers as well. So I'm just going to get all these back. And once I get them back, I'm going to hold them back with my fingers and then pull my thread through at a 90 degree angle and then take a couple wraps in front just to kind of set that there. Um, it's really hard to trim these fibers when they're back here. When they stick over the eye, I can trim them better. So I'm just going to come in here and kind of shorten them up just a bit. And I'm trimming at an angle so I don't get a flush cut. Um, this doesn't have to be perfect or neat because most of it's hidden under the progressive ties of bucktail. So you still keep the profile, but you create this bulk that really just moves water. Okay. So I'm creating a cone in front of this, and that's actually what's pushing the fibers back. So just make sure you wrap it nice and even. Okay, I'm going to grab some more flash. And I like doing it this way with flash, because this flash also helps me control the taper of these butts and the flare. Okay. So get that 360 around. You'll see, because I use... Oops, just make sure this is all the way around. Because I use this flash, it helps push all these fibers back. Okay, so at this point here... And check my taper. Make sure everything looks good. Cover those up, and I'm going to switch colors. I'm going to switch to black, so I'm going to have a two-tone fly here. So I'm going to take another measurement with the black here. And this is where you'll get some really good contrast. So I want it, if you can see my butts are here, or my tips and my other fibers, and I want it to kind of slightly overlap but still have exposed tips. So right about there, and I just want to advance my thread a little bit. Take that measurement again, and then tie these in. So this is going to go 360 around again. It's very important that you distribute these fibers evenly. Okay. So again, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to um, trim these so that I get this kind of cone shape and push them back. So I like to keep tension on my thread while I push this back so nothing moves. And these fibers are pretty stiff, so you kind of got to work them a little bit. Okay, so now I'm going to grab these, pull them back, hold them back, and pull my thread through at that 90 degree angle. And right now, so I'm going to come forwards, create a base, and then come back and start to create my cone. And sometimes I like to wrap at different angles to make sure that I'm getting this nice and even. Okay, so checking that. So basically what you want to do is keep all this bulk here under your bucktail so that when you fish this and it gets wet, it hides the bulk and keeps the profile. Just coming through and just trim it a little bit. You can wet this thing at the end and kind of trim anything out too, but for me it's easier if I just get the bulk of the trimming done now. So for flash, I'm going to grab some ice wing fiber in black. And this is a pretty fine fiber, and it's long. So what I like to do is grab it and kind of break it up in my hands so I get short, varied lengths. Um, it's kind of hard to tie with, too. So I'm going to make sure that when I tie this in, I get a 360 tie-in. So basically, if I can kind of spread it out with my fingers first, use some gathering wraps, and then tighten down. Okay, and then I'm just going to spread this around and push it back again. Okay, and then tie right over those butts. 
That looks pretty good. Okay. So right here again, I'm going to grab some black bucktail. And I'm going to choose bucktail that's shorter and towards the base of the bucktail. I'm going to take a measurement. And that looks about right there. So flaring this 360. The combination of thread pressure and my hands. So I got a little bare spot right here. Just rotate it around. Okay. So the the further you get up here towards the eye, the shorter you want these fibers to be. All right, let's so grab my pen, keep tension on my thread, and work this back. So hold these back, pull your thread through, create a base, and then come back and start creating your cone. And it's okay if you trap some of these. We'll get them back there. Okay. Looks pretty good. I'm going to grab some more flash. And this, I'm going to make sure is real short. And kind of uneven. You don't, want, you don't want flash that's all the same length. So I just have a little chunk here. Again, I'm going to distribute this the best I can 360. Some loose gathering wraps and then pull it around. So pull this back. Okay, got it. You can kind of come in here with a bodkin and kind of pick out some of this flash too that you trap down. All right, I have just enough room for one more tie-in. So I like to keep this tie-in a little more sparse. Okay, and this is going to be my shortest tie. And again, because we're near the eye here, you got to really concentrate to get that 360 around. Okay. So I'm going to cut this, the butts here, as short as I can. And then keep tension on my thread while I push these back. What you're doing here is you're almost creating like a little muddler head with bucktail, but it's underneath all my other bucktail. So you get, you keep the profile. I'm going to take some of this out. And you can trim and adjust this how you want it to look. See if I can push this back a little bit. Give myself a little more room. Create a cone. Okay, I'm going to take one last chunk of flash. And this is going to be some pretty short stuff. And this is also going to help create some bulk and keep my fibers pushed back. So just barely have enough room here. Make sure I distribute that evenly. Okay, so I'm going to pull this around. And pull this back. And then I'm going to tie that down. Okay, I'm going to throw a quick whip finish in here. And then I'm going to finish this head off with super glue. Okay. All right, that's pretty good. What I'm going to do now is take my bodkin and kind of comb through this. And you can hear it. I'm kind of ripping some fibers that are trapped down. This flash is so fine that sometimes it gets tangled up. And this is just a way to kind of make sure everything flows back. 
and flows really well through the fly. Um, so what I have here is pretty much done. What I like to do and how I finish these and how you should finish them too is grab some water. I'm just going to put some water on my fingers and check my taper. But run this thing under hot water for a couple, a minute or two, and then right before you're done, run some cold water over it, and that'll kind of set the taper and hang these things to dry, and you get a perfect fly with a perfect profile. All right, guys, make sure you hit subscribe, hit the bell, so you're notified of all of our future fly tying videos, and we'll see you next time.